can make hearts. Yeah, this is over a year old now, and this is Doris Taylor's heart. That was a decellularized and then recellularized tiny pig. That heart is the right size to transplant into a baby. If any of you know somebody waiting for a transplant of any kind of organ, even hearts in particular, it's a long, terrifying wait for a typical adult, but frankly, most of the cadaveric organs that are available are adults. Some idiot kid gets drunk, drives his motorcycle into a tree, well, you get a bunch of good organs, but they're typically adult size. Think about a baby yeah. or a small child that needs one of these organs. You really want some other baby or small child to have to die? So we said, let's start making pediatric size hearts. Uh, this thing is reinfused with some iPSCs, and you saw it. It, it pumps. Amazing. Uh, we, will be, uh, we will be putting some of these, quote, manufactured hearts in animals this year. Um, I remember having a conversation with, with Elon about mass, about manufacturing, and the comment he made was so astute, and it applies to everything you're doing here. He said, if you have the ratio of the value of the invention idea relative to the difficulty of productionizing and mass manufacturing, it basically is like one to infinity. That the ability to actually go into production and produce this, and, and you're actually building, you're taking over all of those buildings. And what's your vision a decade from now? What's, what's this New Hampshire facility gonna look like? Again, I'll be able to show you a slide of that. Um, the old mills he's referring to, I can show a picture of this, but that mill, the Amoskeg Mills, was the largest single operating industrial complex in the world at the time. They had 22,000 water-powered looms in there, and they were producing a massive amount of the world's then advanced technology, uh, knitting uh, uh, textiles. After the Great Depression, they pretty much closed. That stuff became a commodity. That mill yard was virtually empty when I moved up there 40 years ago from New York. I moved into the very smallest <laughs> building, right in the middle there, the white one, with the white roof next to the one that's H-shaped. Um, those are all white because I had to put roofs on them. Now, every one of those things shows either one of my DECA companies, one of the Army companies, first, our university affiliation to train kids to become the next uh, industry. But that's now, we have a couple of million square feet and we told everybody, and I told you this years ago, if Army works, it's not a product, it's not one organ, it's not one company, it's an industry. This is the birth, what, what Silicon Valley did once we understood semiconductor technology, this is gonna be the epicenter of an industry to make it practical to manufacture human cells, tissues, and organs. So I said, we'll call, they got Silicon Valley, we'll call ours Carbon Valley on the East Coast, we're carbon-based. People said to me, Dean, don't use the word carbon. Okay, so we'll be Regen Valley. So we started calling this Regen Valley, and just a few months ago, uh, when we were told we might get the next 100 million, oh, I started to say, after three years, I was a little nervous that it was harder than we thought, and I had burned through a lot of the 80 million, and I thought they might not be happy. When the DOD, the Assistant Secretary of Defense, Vice President, President, they all came up, they were so blown away by how fast we were moving. Uh, by the way, that's uh, both of my senators, Shaheen and, uh, and Asin, our mayor of our city, and Gina Raimondo, the Secretary of Commerce a few months ago. When the President of the United States, Biden, asked everybody to be there when he went broadcasting from uh, the Oval Office, the fact that they have officially, through EDA, the Economic Development Authority, announced, this is the President's words, that the Manchester Mill Yard is now the epicenter of Regen Valley for the United States and the world. So, but, uh, Can we just take a second and just appreciate that? 